Hello everyone! This chart is dynamic. It displays a changing number of months. It is not a pivot chart. It is not built with dynamic named ranges. So what is this feature? The last six months of the source data range are displayed in the helper spill range of a dynamic array function. The dynamic chart is linked to the spill range. Let's see how to use this method. My data range shows sales units and value for several months. I want a chart that will show the last 3, 4, 5, or 6 months, depending on the selection in a drop-down list. Let's first make the drop-down list. Select a cell, and in the Data tab, under the Data Tools, select Data Validation. The validation criteria should be from List, and I'll just type 3, 4, 5, and 6 for the number of months. I will use the offset function which spills in Microsoft 365. The offset function will start in cell A1, Go down by the number of rows equal to the number of entries in column A minus 1 to account for the title, given back by the count A function of column A minus 1. I will stay in the same column, so the offset function will navigate to the last cell in the column, and from there, I need six rows going backwards for six months and two columns for months and sales units. Let's add the headers. And cell F2 instead of the six so that the spill range changes based on the selection in that cell. Let's also correct the formatting of the dates. And just add a chart. If I add a new month, the chart will be automatically updated. To make this method work properly, and for the number of categories to change correctly in the chart, you need to use the spill range of one single formula with a dynamic array function, in this case offset, as a chart reference. So what if you have non-adjacent columns? Let me decrease the number of months to 3. Remove the chart. Adjust the formula to only show the month. Copy it. Paste it and adjust it to show sales value. Now I have two spill ranges. Let's add a chart. If I increase the number of months to six, the chart will not show the correct number of categories anymore. 
because the reference is fixed to the original spill range. So instead, I will remove the second formula and expand the first formula to include sales value. Then I will wrap this formula in the choose calls function. Specify that I want the first and third columns. Now, if I add a chart, and increase the number of categories to six, the chart will work properly. This is a good alternative to using dynamic named ranges in Microsoft 365 and Excel for the web. Unfortunately, in older versions, you will still have to use the dynamic named ranges method for a similar effect. If you like this video, Please like and subscribe for more contents like this.